Hello everyone. Let us um, solve this problem very quickly. We have 2 to the power of x equal to square root of 2 to the power of x plus 1 square root of 8. Now we have 2 to the power of x on the left and it's equal to... Now here we have um, square root of 2x plus 1, right? And that will be 2 to the power of x plus 1 to the power of 1 over 2. Okay, so this is the same thing as the square root of 2 to the power of x plus 1. Then this is multiplying 8, right? But 8 is under 2 square root signs. 1, 2. Okay, so we have um, 1, 2, right? So therefore, it will be 2 to the, um, 8 to the power of 1 over 2 times 1 over 2. Now, let's deal with the powers first. We have 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. The whole of this will be over 2 if you multiply the powers. Now, multiply by 8 to the power of 1 over 4. That is, if we multiply the powers. Now, what do we do? Realize that everything is in base 2, right? But 8 is not. So we have to express 8 in base 2 as well. So we have 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3. If you multiply 3 by 1 over 4, then you have 3 over 4. 3 over 4. Now, what do I do? Remember, on the right-hand side, we are having, you know, base 2, right? So we can pick one of them and, multiply, and add the powers according to the law of indices. 2 to the power of x will be equal to 2, okay, to the power of x plus 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4. Now, let's try to deal with the power, right? So from here we have 2 to the power of x equal to 2, right, to the power of, the LCM of this is 4. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2, so we have 2 multiplying x plus 1, and then plus 4 divided by 4 is 1, and then 1 times 3 is 3. Now, let's try to open the bracket there. 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 plus 3. And this is over 4. Okay, so 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 2x plus 5. And the whole of this is over 4. Now we have the same base on both sides. And we can work with the powers now. Meaning that x is equal to 2x plus 5 over 4. Right? So from here, from here, we can cross multiply so that 4x will be equal to 2x plus 5 and then this means that 4x minus 2x is equal to 5 and then 2x is equal to 5 and this equally means that x is equal to 5 divided by 2 okay now let's go back to the original equation and check to know if we are right or wrong now the original equation is um, okay, we got um, we got 2 to the power of x equal to square root of 2 to the power of x plus 1 square root of um, 8. Okay, so this is the original equation. And then, let's substitute the value of x. On the left hand side, we'll be having 2 to the power of 5 over 2 because x is 5 over 2 now. This will be equal to, um, on the right hand side, we have square root of um, 2 
to the power of x which is now 5 over 2 plus 1 then we have square root of 8 now to deal with this the first thing you should do is to deal with the the terms in the bracket first right so 2 to the power of 5 over 2 will this be equal to let me circle the equal to there because they may not be equal we now have square root of 2 now if you add 5 over 2 plus 1 what will it give us it will give us some um, it will give us 7 over 2 it will give us 7 over 2 then we have um square root of 8 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 right okay now let's take a step further now here we have 2 to the power of 5 over 2 okay to be equal to or not equal to we have um 2 to the power of 7 over 2 multiplied by here we have um 2 to the power of 3 and that 2 to the power of 3 is the same thing okay square root of 2 to the power of 3 that is 2 to the power of 3 okay to the power of 1 over 2 because of the square root right now see what i'll do next this means that 2 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 5 over 2 to be equal to or not equal to what we have here let's look at it we have 2 to the power of 7 over 2 multiplied by 2 to the power of 3 over 2 okay i got 3 over 2 because i have to multiply the powers right okay now let's continue again 2 to the power of 5 over 2 equal to or not equal to what we have in the bracket here now we have the same base pick two because they are the same and now the next thing we do the next thing we are going to do is to add the powers so we're going to have seven over two plus three over two now let's continue okay so two to the power of five over two equal to or not equal to here we are going to have square root of 2 to the power of 10 10 over 2 now how did i get 10 over 2 the lcm is 2 then add the numerators now from here we have 2 to the power of 5 over 2 to be equal to or not equal to square root of um, 2 to the power of 5 that is 10 over 2 now let's remove this outer square root so we have 2 to the power of 5 over 2 equal to or not equal to we have um okay so we have 2 to the power of 5 to the power of 1 over 2 because of the square root now 2 to the power of 5 over 2 to be equal to now we can equally multiply the powers there so we have 2 to the power of 5 over 2 and now when you look at the left hand side and the right hand side you will see that they are both equal right so therefore our value x equal to 5 over 2 is very correct thank you for watching